Sorry guys, you hurt me so bad. It sucks. It really sucks. Don't cry. It's gonna be okay. You have me and you know, I'll be here for you every day. I'll come by and I'll bring you snacks and we can go out and meet new people. We can do a lot of good things together. I'm sure you'll meet someone very soon. You're so cute. And I'll do your hair. Everything will be great. <laughs> this sucks so much. It's okay. You know, cry it out. Eventually, he will come to his senses and you better not give him another chance. You need to just work on yourself do some inner work and realize that this person is not worth your time and he's a loser and he's not really that cute either i mean you could do so much better i say that all the time but i mean it it is crazy how much cuter <laughs> you are um not fair. Yeah, not fair i gave that man the best three years of my life and what does he do he just kicks me to the curb he owes me. He owes me money and love. He owes me a marriage, a wedding. Forget about him. He's a loser. Okay? Forget about him. Yeah, I agree with Jennifer. He doesn't have a job, really. Like, he was using you. Maybe he found a bigger fish to use, I guess. He had a part-time job the whole time, okay? And he lives with his mom. Sometimes and sometimes he was here. I mean, he's in college, kind of. He graduates next year and we're planning on buying a new house. Like, we were just saving our money and I don't understand. We are like best friends. How can he do this to me? Because he's an idiot. Everyone tries to tell you, but you don't listen. You're going to have to just get yourself together and move on, okay? We're here for you. We love you. I know you guys love me, but it's not about your love. It's about his love. And I'm trying to figure out why he did this. I need to find out why. I mean, like, it just came out of the blue. For goodness sake, everything was good. As a matter of fact, we were planning on taking this trip, buying a new house. I don't know what the crap happened with this guy. He is just like, oh gosh, maybe he's emotional right now i'll give him a few hours or maybe i'll call him tomorrow okay i'll just call him tomorrow and um yeah no you can't call this guy tomorrow he he he, he doesn't deserve your phone call okay just hang out with us hang out with me and jennifer okay i am trying my best to move on but it is fresh i mean what am i supposed to do just like date some guy for three years and then it doesn't work out and then I date another guy for two and a half years, another guy for five years. Okay, come on now. It's not gonna like be that way forever. It'll work out in the end. You'll find the right person. Uh, you don't need a person to be happy. You just don't need a person to be happy, okay? Um, well, I don't want to be by myself. I'm kind of bored and I eventually want to have kids, I guess, maybe. I mean, I'd like to have a wedding and and I'd like to have a big house and a dream house, actually. A dream house and maybe five kids. Yes, I want to be like a professional working mother. I want to have it all. I want to have it all just like Barbie. It's not fair. She gets to like work every career and she has kids or sisters. I'm not sure what's going on with her. But still, she's a good friend of mine and I want what she has. I don't want to be stuck here like working a dead-end job and crying to you guys. More than anything, I want love. I want to Girl. fall in love girl everyone wants love but it doesn't work out like that just enjoy like your family and friends okay you guys aren't going anywhere the thing is it's not about family and friends for me it's about adding family and friends so i'll be super happy i mean i'm happy with y'all but it won't hurt to have more more is better i want to have the career the children the husband the cars i want to just you know have more pets i want my little furry friend here, Goliath, to meet a girl and get married and fall in love and we have like a doggy wedding. It'll be great. I just want to have so many awesome things and I thought I was going to have it with my man but <laughs> come on now, he dumped me out of the blue. What in the world is wrong with him? I'm so like hurt but it's alright, I'm going to find love soon. But before I move on, I'm going to find out exactly what happened. I will figure out why he dumped me and then I will, I don't know, make him fall in love again or hurt him.
I will get revenge and hurt him. He will regret the day that he crossed me. Girl, I don't know what you're talking about, but you sound crazy as hell. You need to let that dude go. He is not worth your time or energy. Just let that man go. You know what? I know someone. Um, he works in accounting. His name is Reggie. I work with him. He is a good guy. He's a little, like, cheesy at times, but I'm sure you'll like him. Like, he's a total package. He's got a great job. He's financially secure. Um, he has hair and teeth, and he doesn't stink. He's very humorous. Like, I'm always laughing at his little weird jokes and the way that he talks. Yeah, you, you would be great with Reggie. Reggie's a keeper. I'll invite him over right now. Um, I'll think about it. Well, I really don't want to date anybody this early, but, um, yeah. I'll definitely think about it. Come on, you have nothing better to do. And if it works, it works. It doesn't, that's okay, you know? Just give it a chance. Uh, okay, since you know me better than anyone else does, yeah, I'll just try. I'll try. I trust your judgment. Okay, thanks. Thanks for giving it a chance. Or him a chance, okay? Like, great. I'm so relieved. This is gonna be great. Like, he's a good guy, and I can actually stomach this one. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the last one, but this one, I mean, he's better. Just a better person for you. Okay, I'm trusting you. This is the only time, like the last time, that I'll give a guy that you want me to go out with a chance. If this doesn't work, then don't try it again. I'm going to say no in the future. But I'm trusting you, so all right, we'll do this. Okay, I must warn you that this guy is a little, like, odd. I mean, he's not anything like your ex-boyfriend. He has more personality than anything, and I think that will take you far. He's not ugly or anything. He just, uh, he's different. So be warned. You're warned. You're warned. We are going to go now. So, um, why don't you freshen up a little bit? Maybe do your hair, brush your teeth, order something so you guys can have something to eat and, like, watch a movie together. Don't go too far. Like, uh, if you do use protection, but actually just don't go too far. Don't do anything. Jennifer! Who is it? It's Big Ridge. Um, just let yourself in. The door's unlocked. What's up? My name is Reggie. Big Ridge. You can call me Ridge. Yeah. Good to see you. You're looking good. Real good. I'm gonna buy you a drink later. Do you like Coke or Pepsi? So where do you want to go? You all dressed up looking like a whole snack? Um, well, okay, whatever. I thought we were staying here. I was about to order dinner, but if you have something set up, that's great too. I don't mind going out. Yeah, um, I, I got it set up. Just relax and um, come with me. Let's hop in the Jeep. Beep, beep in the Jeep. Oh, I was going to help you with your seat. Good for you. Good for you. No, it's fine. I can seat myself. Thanks for offering. For sure, for sure. It's all good. And thanks for making the reservations. That's very sweet of you. I got some friends that work here, and it's no problem. It's really oh, no problem, okay. Shorty. It's no problem. Well, that's very kind of them to help you out right now. I know that it was short notice, and... I've been very sad, so this is cheering me up. 
And I'm happy to be here. Yeah, my boyfriend just decided he didn't want to continue on and... What? Why would he say that? What's wrong with him? You're beautiful. I don't know, but here's a later. He's coming. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Oops. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll get that. Actually, no. I'll, I'll get you another fork. What would you like to eat for dinner? Um, can we uh, get some time to decide? Oh, I just dropped my menu as well. No problem. I'll be back. And, um, yes, just, uh, I'll be back. Okay, bye. Did you decide what you wanted to drink? Maybe, perhaps? Um, or do you need more time? Do you need more time for drinks? Um, okay, I'll be back for everything. Yes, thank you. We'll figure it out in a minute. Is that your friend? Is he nervous around you or something? No, I don't know who that is. I just don't know who that is. He might be a friend of my friend or a friend of a friend of my friend. Okay, that's unusual. Uh -huh. I don't know why he would be scared of us, but um, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, don't worry about people. People are strange. He could be on something. On something? Well, yeah, he could be on... I don't know, some type of medicines or something. Yeah, that's true. It's possible. Anyways, um, I'm not really that hungry. I'll order for us. Do you mind if I order for the table? I don't mind. It's fine. You'll love it. I'm sure I will. I would love to try something new. Yes, it's a barbecue bacon pizza. Uh, you'd like the barbecue bacon pizza? Yes, we would like the barbecue bacon pizza. Thank you. Uh, a large. And could you please get us two glasses of white wine? Thank you. Anyways, baby, I got dimes on dimes on dimes. I've been saving my coins. And before you know it, I'm going to be rolling dough in about 20 years. Right? Dimes? What are you talking about dimes? Are you cheap? Well, I'm a little bit frugal, but it doesn't hurt to save up. Save up for a rainy day. Yeah, but dimes? There's a figure of speech. I just put away anything extra. I'm very, very wise with my money. I am an accountant, so I have to do that. Oh, yeah, you work with my sister. You're an accountant. She told me about that. I forgot. I'm so sorry. Okay, I get it. That's cool. Do whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you happy. Oh, yeah, this is good. I got uh, the bacon pepperoni pizza. You can have some of this bacon if you want. It's good. It's really good. Um, I don't really eat pork. I don't believe in uh, that. And, um, yeah, I really don't want this pizza either because there's, like, some type of meat all over it and tomatoes. I mean, tomatoes are okay, just not my favorite. But I'm happy to be here, and you're really cool. I like the fact that you work and you're positive. Thanks. Um, I appreciate that. Not many women say things like that. Like, uh, you're very nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's important to be nice to someone, like make friends or be friends at the very least, right? I think we could be really good friends. You're a really nice guy. Thank you. I think we could be friends as well, and maybe more. Oh, snap. Shit. What is he doing here? Oh, my gosh. Gosh. Uh, who are you talking to? Who is doing where? What are you, t what are you saying? Oh, it's nothing. Um, I'll talk to you later about something, but right now I have got to go. My stomach feels weird, and I just can't be here. Um, let's just take the pizza home to go. I'll be waiting in the car, and I'll explain everything as soon as we get back to my place, okay? I promise. I just have to get out of here. Goodbye. Just follow me after you pay, okay? Damn, that was cold. I wonder what she was talking about. I guess I'll find out soon enough when we go get this girl. Like, I don't see how an elderly person could do that. I'm older, like... Yo, Christy, uh, what happened at the restaurant? Why did we have to leave so quickly? Can you please fill me in on what happened? I am so curious. All right, uh, I'm sure you have a good story or explanation. I'm just curious. Oh, yeah, well... I'm sorry that that happened. 
Hmm. Well, okay. <laughs> well, my ex-boyfriend, the one that just dumped me, like, earlier today, he was at the table next to ours. He was right next to um, a girl. Like, well, actually, the girl was behind me, and then he was right there talking to her. And uh, I just, uh, I guess he's been with her or something. I don't know what's going on. But, yeah, it kind of hurt me, and I had to leave. I didn't want to cry or for him to see me, so that's what happened. And it's over with now, so I can move on with my life, and I'll probably cry later on tonight. Christy, thanks for being honest. I understand. I'm going to give you some space right now. I want to be here for you. I really do like you, but you need to heal from this past relationship. Give me a call when you're ready to talk and go at it again. All right, talk to you later.